Welcome back learners to our YouTube channel, Robo Army. In today's video, we are building a distance measuring device using an ultrasonic sensor. It's a fun and practical project that will help you better understand how ultrasonic sensors work. Let's take a look at the components we'll need for this build. First, we need an Arduino UNO board. A 16 into 2 LCD display. If you want to know more about LCD displays, click the info card above. An eye to see module. An ultrasonic sensor. A breadboard. Jumper wires. A USB cable. A battery holder with a DC power jack and switch. Two lithium ion batteries. Let's start by connecting the eye to see module to the LCD display. The eye to see module has four pins, GND, VCC, SDA, and SCL. Now, take some male to female jumper wires and connect them as follow. Take the Arduino board. First, connect the GND pin of the eye to see module to the GND pin of the Arduino. Next, connect the VCC pin to the 5 volts pin of the Arduino. Then, connect the SDA pin to the SDA of the Arduino. Finally, connect the SCL to the SCL pin of the Arduino. Now, we will connect the ultrasonic sensor to the Arduino. Ultrasonic sensor has two parts, an emitter, which sends out ultrasonic waves, and a receiver, which listens for the echo after the waves bounce off an object. The transmitted ultrasonic wave travels through the air and is reflected by hitting the object. The Arduino will measure the time taken by the ultrasonic waves to travel to the object and back, then calculate the distance using the speed of the sound. We know that the speed of sound in air is approximately 344 meters per second. Using the parameters, time and speed of sound, the distance traveled by the sound wave is calculated from the formula of distance is equals to speed multiplied by time. Let's assume we have a variable t that stores the time taken by the sound wave to travel from the emitter to the object and back to the receiver. Now we can write the expression as distance d equals to time t multiplied by the speed of sound wave, since the waves are traveling to the object and back. The distance calculated by this method is double of the distance between the sensor and the object. So the final distance is equal to the half of the calculated distance, that is d, divided by 2. Now let's continue to build our circuit. Take male to female jumper wires and insert them in the sensor. Connect the VCC pin of the sensor to the 5 volts pin on the Arduino. Connect the GND pin of the sensor to the GND pin on the Arduino. Connect the trig pin of the sensor to digital pin 9 on the Arduino. Connect the echo pin of the sensor to digital pin 10 on the Arduino. Make sure to double check your connections with the circuit diagram. Now our circuit is ready and we need to add the code. Download the code and library files given in the description below. Open the code file if you've already downloaded the Arduino IDE, otherwise download the Arduino IDE first. In this code, we'll be using two libraries wire library to handle i to c communication and liquid crystal underscore i to c library to control the lcd display to include the downloaded libraries in arduino ide go to sketch click on include library select add dot zip library navigate to the folder location where you saved the downloaded library dot zip files Select the .zip file and click Open. The Arduino IDE will then install the library. Next, we initialize the LCD display with an i to c address of 0 into 27 and specify that we are using a 16 into 2 display. For the ultrasonic sensor, 
we define the pins, trick pin, for sending the sound waves and echo pin for receiving the reflected waves. Now, we declare variables to store the duration of the sound wave travel and the calculated distances in centimeters. Now let's write the setup function. This function runs once when the Arduino is powered on or reset. In the setup function, we initialize the LCD and turn on the backlight. Then, we set the trick pin as an output and the echo pin as an input. Finally, we start the serial communication at 9600 baud rate. This allows us to print the distance readings to the serial monitor. Now, we need to define the loop function, which runs continuously. First, we clear the trick pin by setting it to low for 2 microseconds. Next, we send a 10 microsecond high pulse to the trick pin. This triggers the ultrasonic sensor to send out a sound wave. We then measure the travel time of the sound wave using the echo pin. The pulse in function returns the duration in microseconds. Using this duration, we calculate the distance in centimeters. The speed of sound is approximately 0.034 cm per microsecond and we divide by 2 since the sound wave travels to the object and back. We also convert this distance to inches by using a conversion factor of 1 inch equals to 2.54 cm. Now, let's display these distances on the LCD. First, we clear the LCD and set the cursor to the first row. Then, we print the distance in centimeters on the first row. On the second row, we print the distance in inches. We also print the distance readings to the serial monitor for debugging and verification. Finally, we add a short delay of 500 milliseconds to make the readings stable and readable. And that's it. Now upload your code to the Arduino. Connect the Arduino UNO to your computer using the USB cable. Then select port and board in the same menu and select Arduino UNO. Now upload the code by clicking the upload button. And now, with everything connected and code uploaded, paste the components on the breadboard like this. You can make this device portable by powering the Arduino by using this battery holder with a DC jack. And that's how our distance measuring project works. The ultrasonic sensor continuously sends out sound waves and listens for their echo, allowing the Arduino to calculate and display the distance to any object in its path. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching our tutorial.